One of the other major new additions to Photoshop CS5 is the upgrade from HDR Merge to HDR Pro Merge. Now I'm not sure if this will make your photos pro or it's for pro photographers, but either way it's a major update from the nasty love child slash ugly duckling of HDR Merge in CS4, as you'll see in a second. The UI has been majorly overhauled. In fact, it's almost pleasant now. As you can see, there are presets. They're not here in the beta, but in theory, you'll have a bunch of presets that can magically turn your photo into some kind of flicker, explore, wander at the click of a button. There's also remove ghosts, which is the the headline feature, if you will. If the trees have moved or your camera has moved, this will automatically remove the ghosts. I can't show you here, but it is very effective from what I've seen. You can also change the bit level inside the actual merge rather than outside, which is convenient. Now let me show you what some of these sliders do, just if you're curious. I'm not actually a fan of HDR, so I'm not very good at this. Personally, I think HDR is the bastard child of photography, but, well, for journalistic integrity, I'm going to show you what it can do. Here we're going to increase the detail. This is where it starts to look like something you would see on Flickr communities. Let's make it dark and shadowy, kind of emo-y. There we go. Now if we boost the vibrance, it now turns into a kind of, ooh, pretty flowers. At least that's what girls would say. And then we have saturation. Ugh, Jesus. Well, let's bring that down. Let's bring that into kind of emo y bleeding grayness. And we also have the curve feature, which is just like the filter. So you can increase the contrast if you like. We can get rid of the whites that have blown out the top. Or do anything you like with it, really. That's interesting. Anyway, there you have the new HDR Pro in CS5.